Hi, welcome to the Corporate Maths Video Solutions to the practice questions on order of operations, or some people call them bid maths or bob maths. So here we've got our practice question and video solutions. If you do want the video tutorial on order of operations, go to corporatemaths.com forward slash contents and scroll down to video 211 or just scan the QR code. Okay, let's get started our video solutions. So question one, and this is a non-calculator question, and I think all of the questions will be non-calculator. Yeah, quite many to just pen, great. So let's have a look at our first question. So question A says, work out 16 take away 5 multiplied by 2. Now whenever we're working our calculations it's very important we use the correct order of operations. So we want to do our brackets first of all, then our orders, so that's like your square, your square root, your cube, your cube root and so on. Then you've got your divisions and multiplications and if there are just divisions and multiplications you work from left to right and then additions and subtractions. So we do brackets, then orders, some people call those indices, divisions and multiplications, additions and subtractions. So let's have a look at this question. So we've got 16 take away 5 multiplied by 2. So we don't have any brackets. We don't have any orders, any squares or square roots or cubes or cube roots and so on. We have got a multiplication, so we're going to need to work that out first. So we're going to do 5 multiplied by 2. So 5 multiplied by 2 is 10. So we write that beneath 5 multiplied by 2. But we've still got 16 and take away. So we're going to write 16 take away 10. So we do 5 times 2 first of all. So we do 5 times 2 first of all, which is 10. Now we're going to do 16 take away 10. And 16 take away 10 is 6. So that's it would be 6. So it's very important you do the multiplication, the 5 times 2, and then do 16 take away 10. And you don't do 16 take away 5, which is 11, and then multiply by that by 2. That would be wrong because it wouldn't be in the right order. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question is 10 take away 3 squared. So we've got a subtract and we've got a squared. So let's have a look at our order of operations. We don't have any brackets. We do have an order. We do have a power. We've got 3 squared. So 3 squared is 9. So let's write that beneath 9. And then we've got our 10 take away in front. So 10 take away 9. 10 take away 9 is 1. So our answer would be 1. And that's it. So doing the 3 squared first of all, which is 9, and then doing 10 take away 9, which is 1. Okay, let's have a look at question C. Okay, question C says 5 multiplied by, and then we've got brackets 2 plus 3. Close brackets. So remember, our order is brackets, orders, divisions and multiplication, additions and subtractions. So we do have brackets. We need to do 2 plus 3 first of all, and 2 plus 3 is 5, so we write that beneath. And then we still have in front of it 5 multiplied by, so we write 5 multiplied by 5. And 5 times 5 is 25, so our answer would be 25. So let's have a look at question 2. So we've got question 2 is work out 40 divided by 2 plus 3. So with our order of operations, we do any brackets? No. Orders? No. Divisions and multiplications? Well, we do have a division. So we're going to do 40 divided by 2, which is 20. And then we still have our add 3. 20 plus 3 is 23. So our answer would be 23. So it's important to do the division before we do the addition. OK, next, question 3. So question 3 says, insert brackets to make this calculation correct. So we've got 8 subtract 1 multiplied by 3 equals 21. So let's have a look at this left-hand side. We've got 8 take away 1 multiplied by 3. Well, normally we would do multiplications before subtraction. So we would do 1 times 3, which is 3, and then do 8 take away 3, which is 5. So that wouldn't be right. So we need to put brackets into this left-hand side somewhere. Now, 21 is 3 times 7. So if we put brackets around the 8 take away 1, well, we have to do brackets first then. So that would be 8 take away 1 which is 7 and then do 7 multiplied by 3 which is 21 so that's our answer our brackets will go around the 8 take away 1 just so we can do the subtraction first okay let's have a look at question 4 so question 4 says Joey thinks the answer to 16 plus 4 multiplied by 2 is 40 and Albert thinks the answer to 16 plus 4 times 2 is equal to 24 who is correct there's only one way to find out, and that's to work it out ourselves. So 16 plus 4 multiplied by 2. So remember, we're going to do brackets. No. Orders. No. Divisions and multiplications. Well, there is a multiplication, so we're going to do our 4 times 2 first of all. 4 times 2 is equal to 8, so we write that beneath, and then we still have our 16 plus in front of it, so 16 plus 8. We then do any additions and subtractions, so we're going to add now. 16 plus 8 is equal to 24. So if we have a look here, we have got that Albert thought the answer was 24, so Albert was correct. So who is correct? Albert. And explain your answer. Albert is correct. He has multiplied before adding. And that's it. So he's used the correct order of operations. He's used Bob Master, Bid Mass. Okay, question number five. So let's have a look at question five. So question five, again, it's a non-calculator question. They all are in this booklet. So we've got question five A, and it says to calculate 10 plus 3 multiplied by 2. So we're looking for brackets, 
orders, divisions and multiplications, additions and subtractions. So if we have a look at 10 plus 3 multiplied by 2, we have got a multiplication and an addition. We do multiplications before addition, so we're going to do 3 times 2 first of all, which is 6. We still have our 10 plus in front of it, so we've got 10 plus 6. And 10 plus 6 is 16, so the answer would be 16. Part B says to work out 8 divided by 2 plus 12 divided by 4. So this time we've got a divide, a plus and a divide. So let's have a look at our order of operations. Brackets, no. Orders, no. Divisions and multiplications, yes, we have got two divisions. So we're going to do those divisions first, and we're going to work from left to right. So we'll do this first division here, 8 divided by 2, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then our next division, we'll put 12 divided by 4, and 12 divided by 4 is 3, and we still have our plus and in between them. And now our addition, we've got 4 plus 3, and 4 plus 3 is equal to 7, so answer would be 7. Okay, question C. Question C says to work out 3 multiplied by 10, divided by 5, take away 1. So we've got brackets, orders, divisions and multiplications, additions and subtractions. So we don't have any brackets, we don't have any orders, any squares or square roots or cubes or cube roots. Now we do have divisions and multiplications, so they're of the same importance, so we do divisions and multiplications first and we work from left to right, okay? So we're going to do the multiplication first of all, because on the left, so we're going to do 3 times 10, and 3 times 10 is equal to 30. Now we still have the divide by 5 and we still have the takeaway 1, so let's write that beside it. Then we have 30 divided by 5, so that's a division. So we're going to do 30 divided by 5, which is 6, so we're going to do 6 take away 1. And then finally, we've got our subtraction, and 6 take away 1 is equal to 5. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Okay, question 6 says, An estate agent is paid a weekly wage of £750, plus a bonus of £100 for each house sold. Last week, the estate agent sold two houses. Their pay is found by working out £750 yeah, plus 100 multiplied by 2. Tanya thinks that the pay will be 1,700. Explain why Tanya is wrong. So first of all, if we were to work this out, 700 plus 100 multiplied by 2, we would have to do brackets first. No. So orders, so that's squares and square roots and so on. No. Divisions and multiplications. So we do have a multiplication, so we need to do the 100 multiplied by 2 first of all. So 100 multiplied by 2 is 200. And we still have our 750 plus in front of it. So we get 750 plus 200, which would be, if we add that, we would get 950. So you need to do the multiplication first. Explain why Tanya is wrong, well, we'd write that down. So she needs to work out the multiplication, this 100 multiplied by 2, first of all, and then the addition. So what Tanya's done is she's done 750 plus 100, which is 850, and then she's multiplied by 2, which is 1,700, which is, which is a bit too much. Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number 7. So here we've got question number 7, and we've been asked to work out 6 plus 6 divided by 3. So let's write down our order of operations, which is our brackets, orders, divisions and multiplications, additions and subtractions. So we've got 6 plus 6 divided by 3. So brackets, no. Orders, no. Divisions and multiplications, so there is a division, so we're going to do 6 divided by 3 first of all. And 6 divided by 3 is 2, so let's write that down. And we still have our 6 plus in front, so 6 plus 2. And 6 plus 2 is equal to 8, so our answer would be 8. Okay, let's have a look at question 7b. So question 7b says 8 plus 3 brackets 5 minus 1, close brackets. Now whenever you have a number in front of a bracket, what it means is you have 3 lots of that bracket or 3 lots of whatever's inside of that bracket. So it means you need to multiply what's inside the bracket by the number outside. So let's have a look at our order of operations. We've got our brackets, so we have got our 5 take away 1, and 5 take away 1 is 4. Now we've got in front of that our 8 plus, and then we've got 3 lots of that, so we're going to do 3 times 4. We're going to put a multiplication sign in there because it's 3 lots of that bracket, 3 lots of that answer. Now we have got our multiplication, so we need to do our 3 times 4 next, so 3 times 4 is equal to 12, and we've got our 8 plus in front of that still, and 8 plus 12 is equal to 20, so our answer would be 20. Okay, let's have a look at question C. Okay, let's have a look at question C. So question C says to work out 9 multiplied by 2 plus 20 divided by 2. So our order of operations are brackets, orders, divisions and multiplications, additions and subtractions. We don't have any brackets and we don't have any orders, any squares or square roots and so on. We do have divisions and multiplications. So we've got a multiplication and a division. So we'll work from left to right in those. So we'll do this one first and then we'll do that one. So we're going to do 9 times 2 first of all, which is 18. We then still have plus 20 divided by 2. Now we need to do our division, because you do divisions before addition, so 20 divided by 2 is equal to 10, so we're going to write that down, 10, and we've got our 18 plus in front of it, and 18 plus 10 is equal to 28, so that would be 28. Okay, next question. 
Question 8 says put brackets in the following statements to make them true. So we've got 6 multiplied by 7 plus 3 take away 8 is equal to 52. So we want to put brackets in here so that we get an answer of 52. So let's just work it out first of all via brackets. So we would do our multiplication first. So 6 times 7 is 42 plus 3 would be 45 and then take away 8 would be 37. That's obviously too small. So we want to get 52. Now looking at this, I can see if we had six times 10, that would give us 60. So let's put a bracket around our seven plus three. So we would do our brackets first, which is seven plus three, which is 10. We would do six then multiplied by 10, which is 60, and then take away eight would be 52. So that would be our answer. So we would have to put brackets around the seven plus three. Okay, let's have a look at question 8b. So here we've got four plus three multiplied by seven, take away one. So we would do, if we were doing this normally, we would do our multiplication first of all. So we would do 3 times 7 is 21. 4 plus 21 is 25 and take away 1 is 24. So that's too small. So we want to get a bigger answer. So looking at this, let's put a bracket around the 4 plus 3. So 4 plus 3 is 7. And multiplied by 7 is equal to 49 and take away 1 is 48. So that's too big. Now let's put a bracket actually around the 7 and take away 1 as well. So we would have 4 plus 3, which is 7. And 7 take away 1, which is 6. And 7 times 6 is equal to 42. So we would actually put two pairs of brackets in that question. We would put brackets around the 4 plus 3. And we would put brackets around the 7 take away 1. Okay, let's have a look at question 9. So question 9 says, work out 14 plus 12 divided by 2. So brackets, no. Orders, so that's your squares, square roots, and so on, so no. Divisions and multiplications, there is a division, so let's do that first. 12 divided by 2 is 6, so we've got 14 plus 6. And then additions and subtractions, so there's just an addition here. 14 plus 6 is equal to 20. So let's have a look at question 9b. So we've got any brackets? No. Orders? No. Divisions and multiplications, there's two multiplications. Let's work from left to right. So 6 times 4 is equal to 24. We've then got take away 7 and multiply by 3. Now we need to do our next multiplication, so we need to do 7 times 3, which is 21. So we've got 24 take away 21, and 24 take away 21 will be equal to 3. So the answer will be 3. Okay, let's have a look at question 10. So question 10 says work out 3 plus 9 multiplied by 7 take away 2. So brackets, yes. Orders, so we don't have any squares or square roots and so on. Divisions and multiplications, we do have a multiplication, so that'll be next after the bracket. And then we had additions and subtractions, so the addition would then come last. So let's start off with our bracket. We've got 7 take away 2. So 7 take away 2 is 5. So let's write down the rest of the calculation. So we've got 3 plus 9 multiplied by 5. Now we need to do our multiplication. So we're going to do 9 times 5, and 9 times 5 is 45 and we have 3 plus 45. And then finally, our addition, so 3 plus 45 is equal to 48. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at question number 11. So question number 11, we've got 2 cubed plus 3 squared, so brackets, no. Orders, yes, we have got two orders. We've got 2 cubed, and we've got 3 squared. We work from left to right, so let's do this one first of all. 2 cubed, so that's 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. So that's 2 times 2, which is 4, and times by 2 again would be 8. Then we've got our add 3 squared. Now let's look at our 3 squared. Well, 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. So we've got 8 plus 9. And finally, we've got our divisions and multiplications. No, additions and subtractions. We have our addition at the end. 8 plus 9 is equal to 17. So that would be 17. This time we've got 2 squared multiplied by 3 cubed. So again, brackets, no. Orders, yes. So let's work from left to right. 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4, multiplied by 3 cubed. Then we have another order, another power. We've got our 3 cubed. So 3 cubed is 3 times 3, which is 9, times 3, which is 27. So we've got 4 multiplied by 27. And finally, we have a multiplication, so we need to do 4 times 27. Now, this is a non-calculator question, so I'm going to do 27 multiplied by 4. 4 times 7 is 28, so we'll put our 8 down, carry our 2. 4 times 2 is equal to 8 plus 2 is 10, so the answer would be 108. So our answer to question 11b would be 108. So question number 12 says, insert brackets to make this calculation correct. So we want to get an answer of 6, and we've got 7 plus 9, take away 4, divided by 2. So if we were to use Bob Mass just on this as it is, we would do 4 divided by 2, which is 2, and we would do 7 plus 9, take away 2. And then we would work from left to right, because it's just additions and subtractions. So 7 plus 9 is equal to 16, take away 2 is 14, which is too big. So we want to get something a bit smaller. So let's see where we can put our bracket. So if we put our bracket here, we would get, well, first of all, we do our brackets first of all. 9 take away 4, 9 take away 4 is equal to 5, 
so that would be 5. And we would have 7 plus 5 divided by 2. Now we need to do our division. Well, 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. And then 7 plus 2.5 isn't 6. So that's not going to be the right place for that bracket. It's quite useful to do these questions with a pencil so you can rub out the brackets and then put them in again. Um, so let's have a look where else we can put the brackets. If we put the brackets here around these three, let's see what we would get. So if we were to do 7 plus 9 take away 4, and then divide by 2, let's see what we would get. So 7 plus 9 is equal to 16. Take away 4 would be equal to 12. So that would be 12. And then we've got divided by 2. And 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. So that's correct. So that would be where our brackets would go around the 7 plus 9 take away 4. OK, question 13. So question 13 says, insert brackets to make this answer correct. So we want to get 41, and we've got 5 plus 4 multiplied by 2 plus 7. So if we were to work it out as it is, we would have to do our multiplication first. So 4 times 2 is equal to 8, so we would have 5 plus 8 plus 7. And 5 plus 8 is equal to 13, plus 7 is equal to 20, so that's too small. So let's try putting the brackets somewhere else. Let's try putting the brackets here. So if we were to do 5 plus 4, that's equal to 9 times 2 is equal to 18, plus 7 is equal to 25. That's too small again. Let's try putting the brackets over here. So if we do 2 plus 7, so that will be equal to 9. Let's write that down. And then we would have in front of it 5 plus 4 times 9. Then we do our multiplication next. So 4 times 9 is equal to 36. And we'd have 5 plus 36. And that's equal to 41. So that's it. So that's where the brackets will go, around the 2 plus 7. So let's have a look at question number 14. So question 14a says work out 2 plus 5, close brackets, squared. So brackets, yes. So we're going to do 2 plus 5, that's equal to 7. And then we've got squared. And 7 squared, that's 7 times 7, is equal to 49. Next, we've got 5 plus 3 multiplied by 6. So brackets, no. Orders, no. Divisions and multiplications, yes, we have a multiplication. So we're going to do 3 times 6. And 3 times 6 is equal to 18. So let's write that down, 18. And in front of it, we still had 5 plus. So we've got 5 plus 18. So we finally, we do our additions and subtractions is 23. OK, let's have a look at our next part, which is part C and D. And let's put it in our order of operations, brackets, orders, divisions, and multiplications, additions, and subtractions. So 22 take away 14 divided by 2. So we have to do our division first. So 14 divided by 2 is 7. So we've got 22 take away 7. And 22 take away 7 would be 15. So answer would be 15. OK, and part D. Part D, we've got two things in brackets. We've got 9 plus 4. And we've got 100 divided by 25. And they're both in brackets. And we've got a multiplication sign in between them. So the order of operations, we're going to do our brackets first. So 9 plus 4 is equal to 13. Then we've got our multiplication sign. And then our other bracket, 100 divided by 25. Well, 25, 50, 75, 100, that's 4. So that's equal to 4. And then we're left with 13 multiplied by 4. So we need to do our multiplication. So 13 multiplied by 4 is equal to 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Put our 2 down, carry our 1. And 4 times 1 is equal to 4, plus 1 is equal to 5. So that's 52. I suppose another way to do it would be 4 12s is 48. Add on another 4 would be 52. So that's would be 52. OK. Part E. So part E is 7 multiplied by 5 take away 10. So brackets, no. Orders, no. Divisions and multiplications, yes, there is a multiplication. So we're going to do 7 times 5 is equal to 35. And then we've got our additions and subtractions. So take away 10 and 35 take away 10 is 25. And that's it. OK, let's have a look at our next question. So question 15. So question 15a says work out 4 multiplied by, and then in brackets, 3 plus 17. So brackets, yes, 3 plus 17 is 20. Write that down. And then we've got 4 times 20. So we've got order, divisions and multiplications, additions and subtractions. So we're going to do a multiplication next. And that's the only thing we could do anyway. And 4 times 20 is equal to 80. So answer would be 80. OK, next question. Well, we've got 10 take away 2 multiplied by 5. So we have to do our multiplication before subtraction. So 2 times 5 is equal to 10. In front of it, we still had 10 minus. So we've got 10 take away 10, and that is 0. So answer would be 0. OK, part C. So we've got our brackets, order, divisions and multiplications, additions and subtractions. So we've got 50, take away 2 cubes, multiply by 4. Brackets, no. Orders, yes, we've got a cube, so we need to do 2 cubes first. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. So that's 8. So in front of it, we've got our 50, take away, and after it, we have our multiply by 4. OK, so we've done our brackets, we've done our orders. Now we've got a multiplication, so that comes next. So 8 times 4 is equal to 32. So we've got 50 take away 32. And 50 take away 32 is equal to 18. So answer would be 18. 
Okay, let's have a look at our next question, question number 16. So we've got 18.6, take away 1.6, multiply by 5. So brackets, no. Orders, no. Divisions and multiplications, yes, we've got a multiplication, so we're going to need to do 1.6 multiplied by 5. So we've got 1.6 multiplied by 5. 5 times 6 is equal to 30, so put our 0 down, carry our 3. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. So our answer would be 8.08. .08. So let's write that down beneath it, 8. So then we've got in front of it 18.6 take away 8, and 18.6 take away 8 would leave you with 10.6. So the answer would be 10.6, and that's it. Okay, let's have a look at number 17. So question 17 says, work out the square root of 81, subtract in brackets 9 minus 7, close brackets, multiply by 3. So let's consider our order of operations. We've got brackets, orders, divisions and multiplications, additions and subtractions. So brackets, yes, we have got 9 take away 7. And 9 take away 7 is 2. Now in front of that, we have the square root of 81 minus, and after the bracket, we have multiply by 3. Next, well, we've done our brackets, now we've got our orders, so that's square and square roots and so on, so we've got the square root, so we need to do the square root of 81 next. So 9 times 9 is 81, so the square root of 81 is 9, so we've got 9, and then after we have minus 2 times by 3. Next, we've got 9 take away 2 multiplied by 3. Well, now we've got a multiplication, so we have to do the 2 times 3 next. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. And in front of it, we had 9 minus, and 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. So the answer would be 3. Okay, question number 18. So question number 18 says, work out the cubed root of 1,000, take away, and in brackets, 11 take away 3, multiply by 2, close brackets, squared. So brackets, orders, divisions and multiplications, additions and subtractions. So brackets, yes. We have got 11 take away 3 times 2. Now we need to do Bob Mass in here. That's great because we've got a take away and a multiplication. So we need to do the multiplication inside the bracket first of all. So 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So let's write that down. We've got 6 and then in, fr in front of it we had 11 minus. That was in a bracket. We still have squared. We've still got our take away and our cube root of 1,000. So we have worked out the multiplication inside the bracket. Next, we need to do the rest of the brackets. So we need to do the subtraction. So we're going to do 11 take away 6, and 11 take away 6 is 5. So we've got 5 squared, and in front of it we had the cube root of 1,000 subtract. So we've done our brackets. Now we need to do any orders. Now we've got two orders. Let's work from left to right. So we're going to do the cube root of 1,000 first of all. And the cube root of 1,000 is 10, because 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. So that's 10, and take away 5 squared. Next, we've got this squared. So 5 times 5 is 25, so let's write that down beneath it, 25. And in front of it, we had 10 subtract 25. And finally, 10 subtract 25. Well, 10 take away 10 is 0, so 10 take away 25 would be negative 15. So the answer is negative 15. And question 19 says to work out 513 divided by 3 plus 21 multiplied by 13. And this is a non-calculator question. So we need to do our brackets first, then our orders, divisions and multiplications, additions and subtractions. So let's start with this bracket on the left-hand side to begin with. So we've got 513 divided by 3. So that's 513 divided by 3. So how many 3s go into 5? 1, remainder 2. How many 3s go into 21? 7. And how many 3s go into 3? 1. So that would be 171. Then we've got plus, and then let's look at this other bracket. We've got 21 multiplied by 13. So we're going to do 21 multiplied by 13 and see what we get. So 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 times 2 is 6. Now we're going to multiply by 10, so let's put our 0 down. 1 times 1 is 1, and 1 times 2 is 2. And then when we add those up, we get 3 plus 0 is 3. 6 plus 1 is 7, and then we've got 2, so that would be 273. So we've got 273. So we've worked out both brackets, now we need to add. So we've got 273 plus 171. My method's gone everywhere here. So 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. 7 plus 7 is equal to 14. Put our 4 down, carry our 1. And 2 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 4. So that would be 444. And that's great because this looks really complicated, and that's just 444, and that's it. Okay, so let's have a look at question 20. And question 20 is our last question. And we've been given that a is equal to 11 subtract 3 squared. We've been given that b is equal to 60 over 2 plus 3. And we've been given that c is equal to 18 subtract 3 multiplied by 2 plus 1. So let's work out the values of a, b, and c. So let's start off with a. So a is equal to 11 take away 3 squared. So we've got 11 subtract 3 squared. And remember our order of operations, we've got brackets, 
Then we've got order, so that's your squares and square roots and so on. Then we've got divisions and multiplications, and then additions and subtractions. So whenever we look at this, we've got 11 take away 3 squared. But we've got 3 squared, so we've got an order. So we have to do the 3 squared first. So that would be 11 take away, and 3 times 3 is 9. So 11 take away 9. And so A equals 11 take away 9. Now we're going to do the subtraction. So 11 take away 9 is 2. So A equals 2. So we've worked out a is equal to 2. Now let's find out what b is. So b is equal to 60 over or divided by 2 plus 3. So let's write that down. 60 over 2 plus 3. Now whenever you have this big line, this division sign, what you need to do is work out what the numerator is and the denominator is. It's a bit like having a brackets on the top and on the bottom. So you need to work out what the numerator is and the denominator is, and then do the division afterwards, okay? So we're going to need to do 2 plus 3 to begin with. So b is equal to 60 divided by and then 2 plus 3 is 5. Now we know that 60 is going to be divided by 5 because we, need, because we needed to know what was on the denominator. So it's 60 divided by 5, and 60 divided by 5 is 12. So B equals 12. So we've got our value for B. Now let's find our value for C. So C is equal to 18 take away 3 times 2 plus 1. So let's have a look. We've got no brackets. We've got no orders. We've got a multiplication. So let's work out the 3 times 2 to begin with. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So let's write our 18 take away. And then we've got our 6. And then after it, we've got our plus 1. And that's C equals. Now we've got C equals 18 take away 6 plus 1. They're all additions and subtractions. So we're now going to work from left to right. So C equals 18 take away 6. Well, 18 take away 6 is equal to 12. And we've still got our plus 1. And finally, we've got our addition. So C is equal to 12 plus 1 is 13. So now let's work out the value of A plus B plus C. So we're going to work out the value for A, which is 2. We're then going to add the value for B, which is 12. And then we're going to add the value for C, which is 13. So add 13. And whenever we work out 2 plus 12 plus 13, let's see what we get. 2 plus 12 is 14, plus 13 is 27. So that means that A plus B plus C is equal to 27. And that's it. That's our answer. So let's write that in, 27. So I hope you found this video useful. I hope that's helped you with the order of operations. It's very important you know that order of operations, that brackets, um, the order or indices, then the divisions and multiplications, then additions and subtractions. It's very important to know that if you just have additions and subtractions, it doesn't matter what you've got in terms of additions and subtractions. If you just work from left to right, same with multiplications and divisions. And that's it. So I really hope you find this video useful. If it has been useful, please can you like it. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and thanks so much. Cheers.